I guess when you're in Budapest, you soak like the Buddhas do. Hello, my name is Alfredo, and this is Off the Strip, where I introduce you to places just minutes off the Las Vegas Strip, or take you on one of my adventures. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. More information is listed below. In this video, we are about to continue to explore Budapest. It's our last full day in Budapest. We've got a lot of things to plan. We're going to climb up to the Buddha Castle right now, the Fisherman's Bastion, I think it's called, uh, Sucheni Baths, and our final dinner at New York Cafe. So stick around. So we just got our tickets. So we're gonna take this train, tram, I'm not sure what it's called, all the way up to the top to the Buddha castle. That way we don't have to climb a million steps to the top. Built in 1870, the funicular from the Seicheni Bridge up to the Buda Castle is a short ride with awesome views of the city. It costs 3,000 Hungarian, about $8 US, and it's a great way to save your legs for all the walking you are about to do. The Sandor Palace is just steps from the Buddha Castle and is the official resident of the President of Hungary. Just walking around the Buddha Castle, definitely a lot of progress going on right now. As you can see, lots of cranes, lots of construction all around the castle. Um, but yeah. Located in the Holy Trinity Square in front of Fisherman's Bastion is Matthias Church. The church was used as a coronation church for Hungarian kings for centuries. Now it thrives as a Catholic church with church services, weddings, and a destination for thousands of tourist visitors. Arguably the best views of the city, Fisherman's Bastion was built between 1895 and 1902. It was part of the series of developments that were to celebrate the 1000th birthday of the Hungarian state. Presumably, this section of the Buddha city wall was entrusted to the Guild of Fishermen. If you ever find yourself in Budapest and want panoramic views of the city, come up to Fisherman's Bastion, look at the panoramic views up here. You can see everything. Along Fisherman's Bastion's Wall is a cafe where you can enjoy goulash soup for lunch and cocktails with undeniable views. So here we're at the St. Cheney uh, Medical Spa, Thermal Bath, so we're gonna about to check it out. Hopefully it's a lot of fun. Um, we'll be here for a couple hours at least. The Seicheni Spa is a thermal bath that offers medicinal benefits, but for me, the benefit was a chance to relax from all the traveling and walking we've been doing. When you first walk in, you can buy tickets from the left side or the right side, but once you're in, you have access to all the pools, spas, and saunas. You must bring your own sandals and towels. If you are going to buy a towel, make sure it has the Seicheni embroidered on it, because not all of them do. So here we are at the thermal spas. The water is pretty warm. It's supposed to be from the earth. Um, hopefully it's not warm from people pissing in the pool. But it's kind of cool. 
I'm all the way down, so it's kind of deep. It's probably like five foot deep, um, four and a half, five feet. But I guess it's a cool experience, I guess. The Seicheni Bath is the largest medicinal bath in Europe and the water is supplied by the second deepest well in Budapest. The water is rich in minerals such as sulfate, calcium and magnesium to name a few. So we're in the indoor thermal spa. I guess mm, it smells like sulfur but according to my friend Jody here the sulfur is good for your skin. Um, but certainly not good for your nose because it smells like boiled eggs. So we're in the sauna. Uh, we just did the sauna room and oh my god, it was so intense in there. I couldn't see anything. It's hot as being out in the freaking Mojave Desert. It was a good experience though. After it, you just jump in this, this cold plunge. It felt really good. So for sure, the pools out here are really, really fun and whatnot, but I, I think in my opinion, and my friends agree with me here, is that it's all about the thermal baths inside. You go from hot, cold, hot, cold, wet sauna, dry sauna. It's a, it feels amazing. And when you come out here, it doesn't even feel hot. Doesn't, yeah, so if you ever come to the thermal baths, it's all about the indoor pools. So we're about to go into this lap pool. It just goes in circles and I guess the water just carries you. Oh my God, it's pushing me. I'm not even in yet. <laughs> so this lap pool has got a strong current and it just broke it. Ooh, excuse me. I'm, I'm trying to keep up right now. <laughs> Okay, so we've been here a couple hours. Wish we could stay longer. It's actually kind of fun. Um, but we've got 6 p.m. dinner tonight. So we got to go home, get dressed, shower, all that kind of fun stuff. Named the most beautiful cafe in the world, the New York Cafe in Budapest is undeniably beautiful. Built in 1894, the Italian-inspired design was once Hungary's literary and poetry scene for decades. Sadly, the building was damaged during World War II and was rebuilt with replica carvings in 1957. So we are at the New York Cafe, um, about to have dinner. I could not argue that the cafe is a sight to see and an Instagram destination. However, I would have to say that it was not the best meal I had in Hungary. I recommend dinner elsewhere and coming to New York Cafe for coffee and dessert. Our last night in Budapest, my gosh, had a great day today. Had a great time in Budapest all together. People are friendly. Um, food was good. Architecture amazing. Budapest gets an A plus for me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I am in the Munich Lufthansa um, lounge. Um, just a shower, so I'm gonna take advantage of that and freshen up. But it's pretty spacious. They're private showers. You get your own room and all that kind of fun stuff. So it's kind of neat, actually.